working through the South Florida Media Network has helped me uh, narrow my focus. I found that I had more fun shooting and filming and editing, like especially with the pumpkin smash video that I did. I just, it was, it really stood out to me. It was just so much fun and I hadn't like expected that. I had a story where I um, was surrounded by cancer survivors or loved ones of cancer survivors. I learned that it's not just like a sob story and that people are pretty strong and they have ways of like dealing with it. Cancer survivors don't want like your pity. I think the most memorable story that I worked on was the very first story that I worked on and it had to do with like fashion week. I've always liked the arts and I feel like when you find stories that are more personal to you, it reflects in your work. And I found that a lot of other stories that I did also had to do with the arts. Maybe I do need, wanna be an arts and culture reporter and, and I didn't even like realize it. <laughs> That's cool. I wanted a different experience to what we usually get in the classroom. Usually we would produce two stories per semester, um, whereas here we produce one story a week. Another thing that was a big challenge for me was learning how to let go of stories. I really wanted to do this story about Venezuelan people in New York and whatnot, but it was just not coming through, it was not coming along. And realizing that your story is not getting anywhere and being able to take advice resulted in me creating better content and better, more valuable stories. I think the most memorable story that I did was the struggle transgender woman faced when crossing the border and coming to the United States. Um, the fact that I was able to sit down with several transgender women and learn about their stories was absolutely amazing for me. I was able to realize what it takes to be a journalist.